What do we have here? Looks like this construction worker wants us to stop. That's a pretty big vehicle. Hey guys, I'm excited to let you know that I finally got the FSD 13.2.9 update, which means that we're on the latest and greatest version of full self-driving. I'll be driving to Home Depot in New Jersey, and we'll be spending the entire time in the city streets, so we'll be able to stress test this latest update. Let's dive in. By pressing the button on my steering wheel, I'll activate full self-driving. This is my first time using FSD 13.2.9, so I'm both a little nervous and excited. Anything can happen. Hopefully, we don't run into anyone. Based on what I heard from other Tesla influencers on X, there doesn't seem to be any huge changes when it comes to the performance of FSD. I'm not going to slow this part down, but FSD does a good job not running the cyclist over while maintaining a reasonable speed. We have a pretty complicated intersection here. If you look at my display, the intersection is shaped like a star, and there are just many cars going across. FSD is able to find its way through all the mess. We also have a pedestrian here, so the car slows down a bit. This is one complaint that I have about FSD. There are two lanes that allow us to turn left. After this left, we need to make an immediate right turn. FSD chooses the far left lane because it has the least number of cars. Everyone else is in the second lane from the left because they need to make an immediate right turn as well. Being in the far left lane makes it challenging for us to make an immediate right turn. I wish FSD can get smarter when it comes to lane selection. As you can see here, we're making the left turn. FSD then immediately turns on its right turn signal. But there are several cars in the right lane, so FSD needs to slow down so that it can squeeze into the right lane. It gets a little awkward here, but FSD eventually finds an opening. So here's the funny thing. FSD does the same thing again here. The lane that we're in right now is good because we're allowed to make a right turn in this lane. But FSD doesn't like this lane because there are just too many cars. FSD gets impatient and gets into the far right lane and you'll see why there are so few cars in the far right lane. Also, kudos to FSD for not running this girl over. Okay, so here's why many cars don't go in the far right lane on this street. After you make a right turn here, there tend to be a lot of cars that are double parked like this white car up ahead. This forces FSD to change to the left lane. You could say this is a smart move on FSD's part because we get to cut the line. Also, I forgot to mention this, but FSD is in hurry mode. Hurry mode is definitely doing its job here. We got a few workers with a dolly on the right. FSD does a good job of not hitting them within this tight space. Earlier, we were talking about how I didn't hear about any major changes when it came to FSD performance. I did hear from Ashok, the vice president of AI software at Tesla, that the team made the camera cabin nag less annoying it's too early for me to verify this, but I'll find out after a few more drives. Less snag doesn't make the FSD performance better, but it is an update that most people are happy about. One day, the idea of having camera cabin nag will sound crazy and outdated once we live in a world with unsupervised full self-driving. So we're following this bus right now, and it's stopping here to let a few people off. FSD is in a hurry, so it doesn't want to wait, so it turns on its turn signal to get into the left lane. After the bus changes lanes, you realize that we had to change lanes anyway due to construction. We have a construction worker here who uses his hand to signal us to stop. I'm not entirely sure if FSD recognized the hand gesture, but I think FSD stopped because it saw that the worker was blocking the way. After the construction vehicle passes, the worker gets out of the way and uses his hand to let us know that it's safe to pass. Once again, not sure if FSD recognizes the hand gesture. It could be moving forward simply because the worker is no longer blocking the lane. FSD turns on its right turn signal here to avoid the bus that stopped right in front of us. It also tries to get back into the left lane again, but it notices that the left lane is quite packed, so it changes its mind and stays in the right lane. It's pretty cool to see FSD making super quick decisions. We need to make a right turn soon, but we have a few stopped vehicles ahead. 
FSD hops into the left lane to avoid them, and it quickly returns back into the right lane so that we can make a right turn. I don't have much Tesla related news today, but I do have something FSD related. Tesla is currently testing FSD in Australia. This is particularly interesting because this is right hand drive FSD. FSD is also being tested in France, and we get to see it handling the Arc de Triomphe. I remember John Wick doing this drive in his fourth movie. Who did the drive better, John Wick or FSD? We just arrived at Home Depot. I was hoping we could get parking options in this update, but this version still behaves the same as the last one. FSD doesn't park itself, but it does try going near the front entrance. I disengaged because the entrance was crowded. Also, you get to see some auto park action. The speed of auto park still feels the same. It did feel worse though because the car was a bit off-centered in the parking spot. This is the end of the drive. What do you guys think about 13.2.9? Let me know in the comments and I'll see you guys next time.